Are you new to tethering or maybe having a hard time? Follow our tethering best practices and you'll be shooting solid as a rock. Number one, remove your memory cards. Having a memory card in a camera is the number one cause of an unstable tethering connection. Simply remove any memory cards from your camera before starting your job. If you must have a memory card in your camera while tethering, it's best to start with a freshly formatted blank card. As the card begins to fill, you may find that your connection becomes unstable again. So it's a good idea to swap cards throughout your job to prevent this. Number two, close any competing tethering software. Having more than one tethering application open at the same time can cause your computer to fight for your camera's connection. Make sure you disable any auto connect features or close any other tether capable software you're not using like Evoto or EOS Utility. Number three, turn off power delivery. Cameras that receive power via the tether cable can sometimes experience instability. To prevent this, turn off USB power delivery in your camera setting if it's an option. Otherwise, you can purchase specific cables or dongles that disable power delivery. Number four, plug your cable in the correct orientation. Some tether cables are directional. Before you start your job, make sure you have the camera side of the cable plugged into the camera and the computer side in the computer. Number five, have a backup. Tether cables go bad over time. Make sure you always have a backup on hand. It's also a great idea to use strain relief on your cable to prevent damage to your cable and ports. And finally, ask your community. Our Facebook group is a great place to ask others for their tethering best practices and camera-specific setups. Head on over and join today.